the turn of the millennium, there were signs. Was there something out there? A higher intelligence? A mysterious force at work? Beyond words? Beyond comprehension. Beyond. Beyond. Before Top Thrill Dragster became the tallest roller coaster at Cedar Point, another ride at the same amusement park, constructed at the turn of the century, was taking all the records and plaudits. It was a new ride for a new millennium, and it was aptly called Millennium Force. Well, the view from the top of the world's tallest roller coaster is straight down into Lake Erie. That's our Kathy Donahue and photographer Steve Mount getting one of the first rides today. If the drop from Cedar Point's new Millennium Force doesn't take your breath away, the speed certainly will. At 92 miles an hour, riders have little time to be frightened. The first hill on Millennium Force, a staggering 310 feet high, that's five feet taller than the Statue of Liberty. Millennium Force became the world's tallest full circuit roller coaster, topping out an incredible 310 feet. With a drop of 300 feet, it took the record from the Fujiyama roller coaster in Japan. So pretty from up here, just amazing. And here we go. All right. You know that the Japanese people are kind of upset about this roller coaster. People in Japan will be coming here and try it, and and uh, they will be actually building probably taller one too. Manufactured by Intamin, the company behind such awesome rides as Taron at Fantasyland <laughs> and Formula Rossa on Yas Island, Millennium Force broke six world records and coined the term Giga Coaster, a roller coaster that would exceed 300 feet in height. It would be a decade before Intamin would build another Giga Coaster, but it's a ride that captivated the public. When it first opened, three to four hour queues to ride were expected on most days, but it's generally deemed as worth the wait as it sends riders on a thrilling journey around 6,000 feet of track. The ride's been clocked at speeds of up to 93 miles an hour. Werner Stengel, who has designed over 500 rides, has stated that it's one of his favorites. Considering just how many record breakers he's been involved with, I think that is quite a statement. Stengel, who supposedly retired in 2001, still found the time to work on Top Thrill Dragster two years later. King Dakar, Mystery Mine at Dollywood, he even worked on Colossus at the Thorpe Park Resort. As with so many of the rides at Cedar Point, Millennium Force was revolutionary, this time showing just how effective a cable lift hill could be versus the traditional chain lift. It was the first time this method had been used on such a grand scale it requires an 800 horsepower motor just to drive it. This means the catch car is capable of taking the train up 310 feet of track in just over 20 seconds. My own single back row ride on Millennium Force is actually still a bit of a blur. But if you do travel to Cedar Point, it's a ride I urge you to get on. Maybe you've ridden it, or maybe you just want to. Comment below and let us know what you think of the world's first Giga Coaster. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, please do subscribe. Until the next time.